So here we go. I have one account right there. We will use this as a main account. That's DarwinX. We have another account there that's DarwinX as well, but that's MetaTrader 5 account. So the first one is MetaTrader 4. This one is MetaTrader 5. Then we have another MetaTrader 5 account from Admiral Markets and the account number 4 from IC Markets. And that's M to 4, yeah. So we have two MetaTrader 4s and two MetaTrader 5s. So here's how it works. Really easy and simple. I won't go through the installation because it's easy. Just You just launch auto installer, next, 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 and that's it, okay? So just not waste time on that. I open an empty chart. I usually just use this, you know, euro dollar. And I take server EA and I drag it to this chart. I click OK. Default settings, nothing to mess around, whatever. You know, in your case, all you have to do is just put this like um, license key in there. But in my case, I already used it before, so I don't have to repeat that. Okay. Then next thing what I have to do is to open client account. Empty chart, client EA. I hope these versions will match. Yeah, they, yeah, they should. Yeah, so that's a client TA for MediTrader 5. And then again, on another account, I open empty chart. I took take the client TA. Okay, inputs. I change nothing, just default settings, whatever. I open, open it. Okay, and then finally, account number four. I place that client here as well. As you can see, my main account, you know, this account becomes main account because I've attached server EA to this account. I can attach the server EA to any account of, I want, but you know, where I attach server EA, it becomes the main account, okay? So you like, you want that server EA on that account where you, are you trading, you know? like will be main account from where all the, you know, all the other accounts will know what trades to, to open and close and, you know, whatever. So I see that this account has like um, almost 10,000 euros. It's like, uh, like six euros short, but whatever, 10,000. Yeah. This one has 20,000 euros, a few euros short, but whatever. It's like 19, 988, whatever. This one has 10,000 euros and this one has 49,000, almost 50,000 bucks, okay, dollars. So we have euros, dollars, different account sizes, you know, it doesn't matter. Even the default settings will make it work like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is you open another chart for trading. This chart, we just leave it like for trade copper. We don't mess with it. So I open another chart. Now, let me open a trade. I will open a trade full lot size, okay? One lot. Here we go. And we can see two accounts copied a trade. One account did it. But we can see this clock running red. It means if we go to experts tab, it says trade is delayed because it violates price deviation, blah, blah. Okay, we say... What the hell is happening? I open Euro dollar to check it. And I see that there is a really, well, at this moment, there is no price. Dip. Oh, sorry, guys. I remember what that is. Um, it's a raw spread account on this one. And it has zero spread. So, yeah, whatever. For that purpose, I would just do it like this. Five, five points. Sorry, guys. And I will tell it, okay, you can copy already open positions. And we get the same trade. Okay, you see, on this account, it cop, you know, I opened one full lot. On a 10,000 euro account, one full lot, okay? On a 20,000 euro account, it becomes two lots because the account is two times bigger, yeah? Now, on this account is, you know, Size is the same, but slightly different, like 500 euros more. So the lot size becomes 
0.05, slightly the bigger, yeah, proportionally. And this account is like $50,000. So it becomes a lot size of 4.21. And because it, you no, know, those are dollars. So what it does is that it's like, Con do the conversions, calculate the lot size properly, everything. So it's not like just 5x this lot size. Because it's dollars, you know, it has to convert it in euros and calculate them properly and whatever, you know. So it does this automatically to risk the same percentage, okay? Let's see if we get the same price. 793, 793. 795, like two ticks, uh, two ticks difference, which is nothing. That's, guys, that's inevitable. You know, these price differences, it's Forex. You should understand that. You should try to do that manually. I will see what's the price difference then. And this one, 791. It was late because of my mistake with the settings, but basically, I even get a, a better price, yeah? So let's see. If I make, place a stop loss like this, uh, let's make it 1,000 bucks, okay? Where's 1,000 euros, I mean. 1,000 euros stop loss. Uh, well, kind of 1,005, whatever. So that's like 10% risk, yeah? On the $10,000 account, 1,000 euros risk is like 10%, yeah? So it means that all the other accounts should have lot size and stop loss in such a place that they risk 10%. 10% of 20,000 euros is 2,000, yeah? Let's see, here we go, 2,000 euros. For this account, it should be relatively the same because it's 10,000. Well, slightly more, but 10,000 as well. Let's see. The stop loss is 4,000 euros, slightly more because it's a slightly bigger account. And let's check this last one. That's 5,000 because we are on a $50,000 account. 10% risking each, yeah? And now we can see my trade is like 5 euro profit. This one 11, this one is three. Yeah, so here we go, nine euros. I close it, I go to my history and let's check. Okay, so nine euros profit. Let's see there what we have. 18 euros profit, double because the size is double, yeah? And here we have six euro profit. I wonder why is that? Let's check probably commissions or swap or whatever. No, the commissions is not that. Oh, it was a, a bit different price. Yeah, so that explains it. Swap, yeah, there's no swap. So slightly different because of a bit different price for opening and closing. That's really normal, totally normal. You would get that anyhow. And this one is like uh, $63 profit. So everyone get proportionally profit or loss or whatever you do, okay? And if you do uh, pending orders, like for example, buy limits, it's copied as well, okay? You close it, it closes on all of them. And with buy limits, you... You know, with a reputable broker, you don't get slippages or, or, or whatever. So if you're using buy limits, sell limits, you will always get the exact same price on, on, on entries. Yeah, that's obvious. So we can buy, sell, whatever that works. Okay. If we do other, um, any other stuff like CFDs and, and, and stocks and whatever, it works, you know. And you can see it works from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5. It actually works vice versa as well, you know. But what about limit orders? Yes, limit orders, no slippage then. You can copy limit stops, you know. It copies everything. Guys, just a quick, here we go. Buy limit, um, sell stop, yeah. Sell trade. It just copies everything. 
once you do. And, you know, I'm just making a few manual trades, you know. I could make like, um, if I had a robot right right now, it could make some profits there. But, you know, there is no profit to can be made that quickly, obviously. Yeah, but over time, you know, if you can even open another chart and put a, a robot in there. Like, look, there's like this example, moving average, whatever, yeah. I can put a robot in there. I can open another another chart. Yeah, I can put another robot like this. So now, obviously, they won't be making trades probably there, you know, just like that. But what what's happening is that you can run even other robots together and they will be copying trades to other accounts like immediately, yeah? And see, you know, if I put a, a take profit, a sell stop, everything the same happens on all the accounts, you know? Everything the same. So it just copies everything you do. Uh, adjusting, yes. Yes, Victor, great, great question. See, you go to close a trade and I close half of it, yeah? That's a full lot trade, I will close half of it. So this two lots should become one, this should become 1.5 something, and this should become 2.1 something, yeah? Here we go, close. See, this one closed half lo half of the of what it had, so it becomes one out of two. This becomes 0.52, this becomes 2.1. And see, if I even close myself half of it, yeah? Like imagine clients doing some changes there, yeah? Let's see how that will react. I will close half again. See, it closed half again. This one closed half again, and this one closed half again. 